that is the first time I've been for a dip in the second largest sal saline alpine lake in the world. We picked up some more hitchhikers. We got hey. Hido from Japan and Mirka from Slovakia. Hey, hello. <laughs> Look at the fowl on the floor there. He's sleeping. Where is He's, he's trying to stay awake, I think. So beautiful. The most exciting thing of the day has happened. We were just waiting for some excitement. I'm really bummed. It's like a lifeline. Only a possible place. If it's not there, I really don't know what to do. If it's not there, we don't have it. That's it. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Kyrgyzstan. I am Marlin, and this is my husband, Alex, and together we're the Time Zone Junkies. Today, we are in Karakol, the hiking mecca of Kyrgyzstan. we hitchhike a lot and coming here to Karakol was no different. Three days ago we left the small town of Tamga on the southern shore of Isikul, stuck our thumbs out and got one ride all the way here. It's time to leave Tamga guys, we're heading down to the main road where we're going to hitchhike to the town of Karakol, 90 kilometers away, let's see how it goes. Even though we spent nearly two weeks hitchhiking along the shores of Isikul, we haven't actually spent much time down at the beaches. However, yesterday I did go for a little dip. first time I've been for a dip in the second largest sal saline alpine lake in the world. There you go. It's actually pretty fresh but it's nice. Alright guys, time to stick our thumbs out. Hello. Where are you Hello. Where are you going to? We will go to uh, Toys Caracol. It's been a very interesting ride here in the back of the car, sorry it's a bit bumpy as you can see. We picked up some more hitchhikers, we got hey. Hido from Japan and Mirka from Slovakia. Hey, hello! Uh, hello YouTube, hello world. This is Nolan. He's <laughs> been the most informative driver we've had in Kyrgyzstan so far I think. He has taught us a lot. He knows a lot. And he speaks really good English. Very yes. good. Yeah. And that is actually quite unusual. Yeah. So if you would like to get some apricot and apples, just yes. contact me. What's your number? You, you can export, you never know what you watch. <laughs> yes, seriously. Thank you so much, Nurlan, for picking us up. Most welcome. Thank you. That was a pretty easy day hitchhiking from Tamga to Karakol. One ride, an excellent driver and two other hitchhikers. It was a lot of fun. Today, we're gonna go on a hike to Karakol Valley. It's time to explore a little bit, enjoy nature and the beautiful landscape here. But before we're getting a Machutka minivan there, we're gonna head into this supermarket and buy some food. So we've got some supplies, cucumber, bread, and now we're gonna get Machutka 101 to Karakol Valley. That was a quick ride. That wasn't far at all, Alex. No, we only went about three kilometers in Mashuka. He's dropped us off 200 meters from the National Park entrance. And how much do you have to pay, Marlin, to get in? 250 some per person, which is about $3 per person. As we're not camping in there, we're feeling that it's a bit much. In Western standards, it's really not expensive. And it looks beautiful already, and we've only just entered the valley. Okay. Spasiba. Guys, we decided to hitchhike. I think it's eight kilometers to get into the valley. So we've just been dropped off by that lovely group of people. There are six of us in the car. <laughs> and I think I think he's gonna try and drive up further, but we decided that we wanted to get out and go for a little walk it's in the really valley. Bumpy, the road is just getting worse and worse and I actually kind of want to enjoy the day and enjoy nature. Around here, lots of pine trees, grassy areas, river. We're just going to soak it up. 
I need some chocolate. Need some chocolate. Having some chocolate. We've had a banana each. And I think in about five minutes or so, we're actually gonna walk up again because down here you can't continue along the river. You have to go back up on the road. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Honestly, we have no idea what it looks like here. We haven't watched any videos, any photos really. So we're just gonna walk. We've noticed since we were in Kyrgyzstan two years ago that the type of tourism seems to be changing. When we were here last time there were lots of alternative travellers, maybe overlanding travellers or cyclists. But now it seems like the majority of people that come here are trekking kind of people. You know, they come and they have the full trekking outfit, which of course makes sense because it is a trekking country. But I guess that's pretty good for the locals and the economy because it brings lots of money in. There are lots of horses. Now they're not wild, but the people here live semi-nomadic lives. So the horses are grazing freely and the herder is not always around. There's a herd of horses and they are grazing in there between all the pine trees. It's really beautiful because there are adult horses and there are some fowls as well. They're really pretty. We're gonna stop and get some nice river water, filter it of course. Mountain water tastes good, tap water doesn't. The water is absolutely freezing guys. My hands are cold already. I haven't even started filtering. By the way, if anyone's interested, we have a link for these filters down below in the description. We get a small commission. Go ahead and buy one. So I'm gonna take the opportunity to talk about why we are not doing any bigger hikes. We're in Karakol, the hiking paradise in Kyrgyzstan. You've got so many hikes here starting from one day to probably 10 days or more I imagine you can probably do even longer if you want to the reason we're not doing these hikes is that I've got a bad back so somehow I damaged my back a year and a half ago in the UK when I was editing seven hours a day for seven months my back problem just won't go away As you know guys, we're in Karakol Valley, which is a starting point for one of the most famous hikes here in Kyrgyzstan. From here, you hike up to an alpine lake called Alakul, which is supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. And then you continue on to Altin Arashan, a beautiful valley with hot springs. And then you go back to Karakol. Looks like a good spot, doesn't it? Yeah, guys, it's open up here. I actually think we're gonna be walking through like forests like this for quite a long time. And now it's open up a bit and I think it's a perfect lunch spot. We're gonna have some exciting lunch. We have bread, cheese and cucumber. Guys, we had a little bit of an argument where we were gonna sit down and eat our bread. This is Alex's choice, which is a really low kind of flat stone. I agree, it's quite good. I wanted to be on that one over there. You know, we always argue about like these trivial things when we're out hiking or when we're traveling together. At least they're not like big, serious, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you style things. <laughs> well, I tell you all the time, I'm gonna smack you. Nah, no, nah, you don't. She, don't. she doesn't do that. <laughs> Lunch view, can't complain about that. It's really pretty. The only thing missing are the horses. Where are they? I can smell them. Where are the horses? I think there are some further down over there, but I can't see them from here, sorry. Maybe we'll show you later, hopefully we'll find some. We've run into some horses again, guys. I actually think the horses is one of the most beautiful elements to this country. So pretty. <laughs> on the floor there he's sleeping or is he's, he's trying to stay awake I think but he keeps 
dozing off and behind the other horses there are more fowls and they're all sleeping Guys, don't come and do this hike, I mean the big hike up to the lake, if you don't have hiking shoes because there are many parts that are really wet and muddy and we are wearing just normal running shoes, not a good idea. Guys, we've walked about 4.4 kilometers from where the car dropped us off earlier. Now, we're thinking about going back because if we don't get picked up on the way back, that's 11 kilometers. 11 kilometers guys that's a long way that's a good two or three hour walk and it'll start to get cold by then so yeah i think we're gonna head back the most exciting thing of the day has happened we were just waiting for some excitement alice was going to fill the water i realized we didn't have the water filter anymore meaning that we left it where we first filtered earlier today so I didn't find it down by the river. I'm really bummed, it's like a lifeline. It allows us to have drinking water everywhere. It's amazing. And now we have to walk back one kilometer, two kilometers, I don't know, back to where we had lunch to try to find it. Oh. We're getting close, guys. Yeah, we might have to on it. Which is where we had lunch. Only possible place. If it's not there, I really don't know what to do. It's not there, we don't have it. That's it. It has to be there. Please, please, please. Let the filter be there. There we are. There it is. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> you know, guys, this is one of our most important travel what do you call it items items our filter yeah. in this chinese <laughs> coffee bag that we have carried for over two years yeah yeah oh hallelujah oh, that was a relief. yeah actually guys i think we're gonna end the video a little bit of drama here at the end if you've liked the video you know what to do you do that like this when you press the button that looks like this you subscribe to our channel and Alex, you look in the We're camera, gonna get right. We're gonna get right, Marlene. There's a car coming. Subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell button and leave us a comment. Also head over to our Patreon <laughs> page if you want to donate yeah. a little bit to us every month. Link at the end of this video and down below. There's also a link to our PayPal account. Now we're gonna stick a thumbs up. So we're saying thank you Bye. so much for watching. Bye. Guys, we had a little bit of an argument before choosing uh, this table, as Alec calls it. Alec, you've got to do it again. From here, you hike up to an alpine lake called Alakul, and there, which is uh, Karakol, Al, Al, I can't do that, I can't say Alakul. Al, Al why? I rode through the mountains without a horse and it didn't have a name and in the mountains you lose your water filter na, 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 na. oh 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 too similar to the original alex can get a copyright claim there ah, that makes sense. it was so terrible it's not recognizable <laughs> who, wants who wants alex's apple core who's gonna get it no Who wants it? Who wants it? No? They're scared of you, Alex. Maybe the one that is standing there, the big one. It might have been the one that stared at you earlier today. No? You're not having any luck, love? <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> you threw it. Definitely didn't work. No? didn't work either. They don't want Alex's apple.